Good morning, I'm Diane Macedo. Thanks for streaming with us. In today's update, with 11 days to go until Election Day, nearly 50 million people have already cast their vote, including Vice President Mike Pence. The Vice President voted in Indiana this morning after President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden faced off in their final debate last night. With new rules in place and muted microphones, they were far fewer interruptions than the first debate, but the candidates still clashed on topics like health care, immigration, race, and of course, the pandemic. We have no choice. We can't lock ourselves up in a basement like Joe does. He says that we're, uh, you know, we're learning to live with it. People are learning to die with it. And both candidates are back on the campaign trail today. Joe Biden will deliver remarks in Wilmington, Delaware. And tonight, President Trump will hold a rally in Florida. Now, the FDA has approved the first official treatment for COVID-19. The antiviral drug remdesivir can now be administered to patients ages 12 and up. And that treatment cannot come soon enough. The U.S. just reported 76,000 new cases, one of the highest one-day total since the pandemic started. And Boston Public Schools are going remote after a big jump in the city's positivity rate. I spoke with Boston Mayor Marty Walsh about the decision earlier this morning. I, I think that it's about the safety of the kids, and I think that there's going to be a lot of decisions that I've made and other, other mayors across America make that, that are second guess and third guess. but at the end of the day, it's about keeping people safe and alive. Meanwhile, First Lady Melania Trump's office announced today the White House grounds will be open to visitors this weekend for annual Halloween festivities. The gates will open to frontline workers, military families, and school children accompanied by parents. The announcement says social distancing measures will be in place and guests and staff will be required to wear face coverings. And mandatory evacuations are underway in Colorado where wildfires have burned more than 400,000 acres. Our reporter is on the front lines. You can see behind me here, the fire is in the trees. The firefighters call this crowning. And when that happens in these conditions, the fire is virtually unstoppable. This video taken from a commercial cross-country flight shows an overhead view of the East Troublesome Fire, now the largest wildfire, or second largest wildfire, rather, in state history. And some of the strongest winds of the season are expected in the state of Colorado this weekend, making the fire risk there even higher. A Louisville police commander is now under investigation in the Breonna Taylor case. Major Kimberly Burbrink oversaw the unit that executed the warrant at Breonna Taylor's home the night that she was killed. ABC's Alex Perez has more. A Louisville police major is under fire for allegedly interfering with the investigation into Brianna Taylor's death. Police confirming Major Kim Burbrink has been administratively reassigned pending an internal investigation into allegations she pressured investigators for sensitive information about evidence collected at the scene of Taylor's killing, one calling it a cross-examination. Major Burbrink oversaw the unit that was serving a warrant at Taylor's apartment the night she was shot and killed by police who came looking for drugs and money allegedly connected to Taylor's ex-boyfriend, but found nothing. Police say officers opened fire after Taylor's boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, using a legally owned gun, fired what he called a warning shot, saying he, nor Taylor, heard the numerous times police say they announced their presence. I get shot, we return fire. This is not us going, hunting somebody down. This is not kneeling on a neck. This is nothing like that. Officer John Mattingly, who the FBI found was hit by Walker's a single shot, telling Michael he believes the mistake that cost Brianna Taylor her life was that they did not break down her door sooner. How would you have done it differently if you could have? We would have either served the no-knock warrant or we would have done the normal thing we do, which is five to 10 seconds, to not give people time to formulate a plan. Because if that had happened, I'm telling you, Mike, if that had happened, Brown Taylor would be alive. You believe she'd be alive? 100%. If, that had I if you had alive. just stormed in? Yes. And not given them time? I do. Only one officer was indicted by a grand jury in September with a single count of endangering three of Taylor's neighbors. No one was charged directly in the young EMT's death, prompting outrage from the public. <laughs> And from jurors, a second grand juror now coming forward to set the record straight, saying the jury was never given the opportunity to consider stronger charges, including homicide. And overnight, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir calling on the Attorney General to release all information about the grand jury proceedings in light of the claims made by the jurors.
And Diane, still a lot of changes happening in Louisville. The city council there just approved a new use of force measure as they continue to work on reforming the police department. Diane? All right, Alex Perez, thank you. Switching gears now to Black Friday. Shopping will look a little different this year because of the pandemic, and so will the timing of some of the sales. Rebecca Jarvis has more on how to stay safe and get the best deals. There's no mistaking it. Long lines, overnight doorbusters, and battles over bargains have been an annual tradition during the holiday shopping season. But this year, Black Friday is going to be anything but traditional. Retailers want to make sure that shoppers feel safe and feel comfortable. And so we're seeing them take those steps to do that. Many of those end of year deals won't be in the stores, but on their websites. Walmart with online deals spread out over three events starting November 4th. Lowe's Online season of savings starting yesterday. A Deloitte survey expecting 64% of holiday budgets to be spent online. But if you do plan on going to the stores, retailers are making big changes to protect shoppers. Target announcing a new system to move waiting in line online. You can actually reserve your spot in line. You can check ahead of time and if there is a line, you'll be notified so you don't show up and then see that it's more crowded than you expect. The retailer even offering more than 8,000 new curbside parking spots nationwide. The contactless experience is a big selling point that many retailers are offering now. Nordstrom extending curbside hours, even offering complimentary gift wrapping with all purchases. And one of your best shopping resources might be this, your phone. That's because a number of retailers have their own apps, their own websites. And if you sign up for their loyalty programs, you'll be eligible for additional savings. One word of caution, though, if you sign up with a work email address or something that you use frequently, you're going to get a lot of emails about deals. So better to create an all-new shopping address. So you're not tempted after December 25th. And keep in mind, this year, because the retailers have begun a lot of these sales already in the month of October. They're also extending their return programs so that it's a longer window such that you can make purchases earlier, give them out after December 25th, but make sure that you're checking on that before you make your purchase so that you don't miss the window if you do want to make a return. Diane? All right, great tips. Rebecca Jarvis, thank you. And Apple's new iPhone 12 and 12 Pro officially hit stores today. The new 5G smartphones include a sharper camera and a magnet on the back of the phone for an attachable wallet. The release comes the same day Apple's first ever iPod became available 19 years ago. For more on your latest science and technology headlines, here's Mona Kozarabdi. In today's tech bites, a legal setback for Uber and Lyft. The companies must classify their drivers as employees, not independent contractors. That's the ruling of a California appeals court backing up a lower court's decision. The companies can now appeal to California's Supreme Court. Just in time for the holiday season, new tools on Google's shopping platform will allow shoppers to know if they're getting the best deal possible. You'll also be able to track product prices and receive an alert when bigger discounts are available. And Sony's PlayStation 5 will come with some entertainment apps preloaded in the console along with an optional remote control. The remote includes dedicated launch buttons for Disney+, Plus, Netflix, Spotify, and YouTube. The remote will also work with compatible TVs. The PlayStation 5 debuts next month. Those are your tech bites. Diane, I'm so happy with my PlayStation 2. It played tapes and cassettes. Back to you. <laughs> I'm with you, Mona. Thank you. And that does it for this ABC News Live update. I'm Diane Macedo. Remember, ABC News Live is here for you all day with the latest news, context, and analysis. I'll see you back here at 3 p.m. Eastern with Terry Moran for The Breakdown. A U.S. official actually announced that a deal had been reached, only to have to take it back and put things on hold. And for a few agonizing hours, there was the very real possibility that everything would blow up. But by mid-afternoon, everyone was smiling. They came back here to the White House to participate in a hastily arranged signing ceremony. It was another of those historic occasions in the White House East Room that presidents dream of. After nine days of intense and difficult bargaining, the interim agreement between Israel and the Palestinians had been achieved.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.